Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today we have the Okamura Striker. I'm sitting on it right now. And as you can see, it's not your typical gaming chair. So we're going to take a look at Okamura's first ever attempt at a gaming chair. They've done many, many chairs that are really comfortable, really high standards. And we actually took a trip down to their showroom and checked out a lot of their other models. They have very comfortable, very ergonomic chairs with a lot of adjustability, which I love. We had so much fun there playing with the big chair vending machine as well. And all the other tech YouTubers really enjoyed um, the products there and all the ingenuity behind it. So if you guys have a chance, do check out their store or check out their website for more information. But today, let's just focus on the Striker chair. Now, this Striker chair comes in three different colors, a blue, a red and the black. Today we have the red with us. I just got this because I felt it looked the best on camera. So a big thank you to Okamura for sending this over to me for this review. Uh, I'll leave all the product links in the description below. But let's talk about what you get with this chair. Now, this chair obviously has uh, all the main adjustabilities that you would look for in you know the typical chairs. You have the reclining of the backrest, you have the adjustment of the seat height. But one of the things I always look out for for chairs is the adjustment of the seat depth. Now that is very important because we all come in different heights and sizes and the one thing that's very constantly changing or that differs from one another is the seat depth that we are used to. And I must say this one having the adjustability makes it very comfortable for slightly shorter people like myself and it gives me a lot more of a nicer fit into this chair. Now, the other thing I really like is this very unique wings that it comes with. Now, at first when I saw this, it kind of reminded me of the blinders that horses wear to kind of keep you focused on your game. But after sitting in it, I realized you don't really see it in your peripherals. It's not really there. But then again, it's there, I don't know, to rest your head on when you're sleepy or something like that. But it's a very unique look and it's kind of an aggressive look if you would look at it in a very competitive gaming stance. I think this chair looks really cool and really aggressive. The back of the chair, nothing's really going on there. It's just a very simple plain black PU leather backing. Whereas the front of the backrest has a combination. It's a leather top and a fabric bottom where your back has to be. Now, I think the fabric bottom is meant to be at your lumbar area because it's easier to mold and shape the fabric and the cushion to give you more support rather than molding and shaping the leather. Now, in terms of the armrest, it's a very minimalistic armrest. Uh, it's not really huge. The material's really nice and durable. Um, and it just has a very soft cushion layer on it that's underneath um, that material. The other thing you can, of course, expect from a gaming chair is the three-directional adjustability, which is the height, the angle, and the forwards and back adjustments. Now, right below the chair, of course, is all your basic controls for the height of the chair, the backrest tilt, as well as the tension adjustment for the backrest spring. You also find the adjustment for the seat depth. But going further down the chair, the wheels, something that we don't usually talk about, and these wheels are extremely smooth. It's kind of unnatural in a sense. Usually I have chairs that are a bit more rigid, a bit more clunky and metally, but this one, it feels very rubbery and spongy and smooth. It's a bit hard to describe, but it's just basically very fun to just move around on this chair. Overall, I think this chair is something that uh, really stands out from the rest. And I think for teams who are going into competitive gaming, this could be a very aggressive looking chair for you, something your team might look forward to using. Um, for a home stance, I think it really suits people who have a nice gaming setup. This would really add a character to your setup. But as for me, I am more of a, you know, video editor, I'm more of a um, home, work from home kind of guy. So this doesn't exactly suit my style, but at the same time, it is surprisingly comfortable. Uh, and I don't say that lightly, I've tried many different chairs and gaming chairs especially do not have a very high um, reputation or very good reputation for being comfortable. But this one, pretty comfortable. The only thing I'd say is that uh, the wings on these things are not for everyone, you know. You either love it or you hate it. It's 
eh, somewhere in between. I think it's very interesting because it looks different and a lot of my friends have been commenting about that when they see my chairs. Um, and yes, if this is something you think you would like, uh, do check out the link below for more information. They've just launched this chair or check it out for yourself at the Okamura showroom. They also have a standing desk that they've just brought in together with the striker. Uh, I haven't gotten my hands on it yet to review, but it does look promising with a lot of very special details that they've put much care into. Uh, and I really appreciate that about these designers. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this very short review of this very unique chair. If you guys want to know more, do head over to the Okamura website and uh, you know, give this video a like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.